welcome back, I guess. So, uh, today should be a short little quick install, um, but I do have a few things that I'm doing. So I haven't mentioned this yet, this is going in my big video, but I am actually switching over to a Haltech. So uh, as I'm switching over to Haltech, I'm going to be switching over to E85, which means I'm going to be doing flex fuel. Uh, so you guys will see this in my uh, actual Haltech video when that comes in, probably in about uh, two, three weeks. It's built to made. Uh, but as for now, I'm going to be installing my E85 lines and my sensor. Like I said, this is for usually all my other videos. I usually only make them if I haven't seen one around. And since I haven't seen a video of the 3.8 E85 lines yet, uh, I figured I'd do an install. Uh, so, I've just heard from, uh, I messaged uh, Alpha Speed Midwest, which is where I got my lines from. These were about 215 bucks. Uh, I messaged them this morning on how I was supposed to install it because uh, in the picture, they have one that goes to the content sensor and that one goes to the fuel rope with a fuel adapter. So I didn't get the fuel adapter, so I thought they were missing. However, he said that they are no longer doing the fuel adapters anymore just to kind of cut down on costs. So what you're going to do is, it's fairly simple. You just take off this fitting. Uh, let me get my light for you guys. So uh, you take off this fitting. I can't point with my light. Oh wait, ah, no I can't. Sorry, my car's still hot, I just drove it to work. So you take off this fitting right here that goes from your fuel row, and you reuse it. So that's gonna be your feed and your return for your, well I guess not your turn. That's gonna be your feed to your sensor and then your sensor's also gonna go to this rail. So I don't know where I'm gonna mount it. I'm probably gonna try to mount it somewhere up uh, here or maybe over here. I've already made the holes and everything because it was supposed to go to the line and everything, but that didn't work. So as for now, we're just gonna uh, take that off and then I'm gonna route it out, see how it works. All right, so uh, just to make this, you know, nice and uh, nice and even, uh, I took this, you guys, wow, you guys can't see what I'm looking at. All right, so just to make this nice and uh, clean, I got that off, uh, it's now over here. So what I did is I took uh, this fitting that I'm pointing out with my finger, this, this thing right off, and I flipped it 180 degrees, so that would go this way, because if I moved it the other way, it started to kink, and I didn't really like that. Uh, so now it's gonna route from over here, all the way to my content sensor and then all the way back around to here. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. All right, so just like that, I am already done. It was a super easy install, but like I said, I haven't seen anything on this, so I figured I'd do it. Uh, so I took my strut bar off to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see, but as you can tell, one line goes here to the content sensor and I have mine actually mounted in there with the screw. And then that goes back around into the fuel rail, back to where it started from. Uh, so like I said, you don't actually need a fuel rail fitting. It would make things a lot cleaner because Obviously, it would just go straight down, but I mean, beggars can't be choosers. This kit was fairly inexpensive, so. Uh, like I said, this is a fairly, fairly quick video uh, since I haven't seen one out there. So yeah, I just started my car, let it run for a little. Uh, no leaks at all, so that's a plus. Awesome. 